Matt, it's not on yet. Okay, Gabriel is going to be our videographer today. Say hi, Gabriel. Hi. <laughs> okay, now it's up to you. Okay. So just follow the action. If you want to zoom, you can zoom. Okay. You know, use that if you right. want to. You don't have to. Okay. Uh, whatever you feel, but just follow Brian the action. Okay. What is it? So, do I, will I stand up here? Um, you can you can probably sit where you are. Okay. Okay. No, I'm Okay. Okay. Got me. Yeah. All right. So who wants to be my photographer now? Oh, I saw that hand first. You're right up front. So this camera doesn't have a flash. So when you take a picture, just try to hold still. You know what I mean? So that it doesn't blur. And you can just shoot all you want. Okay. Take pictures of the whole whole presentation. Picture snapping. Picture snapping. Yeah, you can take it with your cell phones too, I guess. So, all right. So, everybody wants to know who this is. Do you know who this it's is? It's you. you. Oh, very good. You guys are smart. See, no, it's him. Yeah, one over on you. So, it said, and somebody said that I spelled I wrong, right? No, it's for your eyeballs. Exactly. Because it's a matter of how you see, you know? We have to see through eyes of love. So, that's why I wear my heart-shaped glasses, see? So, it is spelled right. And actually, you see, I have a photography program, and it's called Eclectic. Photography. So, in relation to eclectic, does anybody know what the word eclectic means? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Nobody knows what that word means? Nope. No. Actually, it means diverse, of many styles, multidimensional, like I have a different way of seeing things. I have an eclectic eye, so eclectic is what we call my photography. But, so, I'm here to talk to you about having dreams. And everybody has a dream, I hope, right? Does everybody here have a dream? No. Yeah. Nobody has, you guys don't have dreams. I kind of do. We've got to figure out what they are. Oh, oh someone needs to uh -oh. pick this one. I want to be a photographer. Oh, wait, you need to move me. All right, you need to move me. And to wake the computer back up. I want to okay. be a photographer. So, I have a dream. I have many dreams, actually. And I want to talk to you about some of my dreams and some of the dreams that I've actually made happen. Like, for instance, uh, when I was a junior in high school, I wrote a one page autobiography, and the last line of it said, Until I get out of high school, I've got just one thing to say save a place for me in New York City. Now, how could I have known? as a junior in high school that I would end up having a, an exhibit of my photography at the Empire State Building in New York City. But they say there's something to writing your dreams down and uh, to, to help manifest that. So think about that and, you know, and you, what your dream is, because I think the dream in your heart is what you're, you're meant to be living in life. So what do you see in this picture, anybody? Rock. Go ahead, rock. Huh? A flower. It does look like the shape of Ohio, doesn't it? Yeah. It is. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So when I think Ohio is shaped like a heart for a reason, like, you know, that this is the heart of the world, really. Like, if you think about it, the whole world is rolling because of the innovation of the tapered roller bearings, which came from the Timken Company here in Canton, Ohio. So Canton is like the heart of the heartland, and that's where that sprout looks like it's coming up from, doesn't it? Yep. Have a thought? It looks like the um, plant rising from the ground. It does. So we'll, we'll think of that plant rising from the ground. Go ahead. It looks like someone planted that. A what? Someone planted that? No. I have to tell you though, actually, this is just how I found it in the, in the cracks of Salt Fork Lake. Has anybody ever been to Salt Fork Lake? It's about an hour south here. It's a wonderful place. But I just found that like that. And it, it told me something that there was something meant to grow from this spot. And that this is the heart of the heartland. And see, like my good friend Darlene Chernenko says, this image is so hope inspiring, it's excruciating. So we'll think of that sprout as a dream that we've planted. And then we hope to grow into a nice big tree, right? So this is actually what they call a baboa tree, um, which is also known as the tree of life. Anybody know what country that tree might grow in? Africa. Ah, New York. Africa is a continent, though, not a country. So there's a country in Africa. Nigeria. Nigeria, no. Brazil? No, Brazil's not in Africa. That's South America. Huh? Go ahead. Ohio. Ohio? <laughs> 
know, but actually, we hope to actually, what we do here in Ohio, we hope to affect that tree of life where it grows in Ghana. So that's where it grows. Ghana. So Ghana is a country in Africa. It's right there. Okay. So um, I want to kind of try to help to show you how everything is connected. And even though Africa, you know, and Ghana is on the other side of the world, that things we do here can affect what happens over there and vice versa, you know? So, anybody know who that is? Martin Luther, Luther King. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King Jr., right? Yeah. And he also had a dream. Anybody know about his dream? He wanted everyone to be equal, have equal Did rights. Black people and white people be in the same classroom. Hey, you know what? Look at this room. It looks like his dream is coming true. That's a pretty mean, wonderful he means thing. Can't right? <clears throat> but you're right. It's just that we can all blend together and be really as one, as, you know, and not have uh, anything to fight about anymore. To really find peace and find beauty and difference because that's what really kind of connects us is our differences if we can learn to understand that. So you're right. That's Mark Luther King. And that is uh, his dream. This is. Uh, during an interview while in Ghana in 1957, Martin Luther King Jr. told radio listeners, this event, the birth of this new nation, will give impetus to oppressed peoples all over the world. I think it will have worldwide implications and repercussions, not only for Asia and Africa, but also for America. It renews my conviction in the ultimate triumph of justice. And it seems to me that this is fit testimony to the fact that eventually the forces of justice triumph in the universe. And somehow the universe itself is on the side of freedom and justice. So that this gives new hope to me in the struggle for freedom. So what he experienced when he went to Ghana in 1957 actually affected him and, and made a difference in the civil rights movement here that he was a part of. So you can't really separate them. What, what happened in Ghana made a difference here. And so what we're hoping to do is what with our, our own dreams, to make a, a difference in Ghana now. Um, so this is kind of our combined dream. Um, and I, this is one of my favorite quotes of Martin Luther King. He says, power at its best is love implementing the demands of justice. And justice at its best is love correcting anything that stands against love. Anybody have any thoughts on that? What that means to you maybe? No? I just sum it up in the saying that we have to see through eyes of love, right? So he also said that much of the power of our freedom movement in the United States has come from music. And what's the difference between agreement and harmony? Anybody have an answer to that? Huh? Different words. Well, they are different words. But I like to think that it's music, right? You know, music is like the OJs sing. Music is the healing force of the world. It's understood by every man, woman, boy, and girl. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, music has a way of moving. And so the difference between agreement and harmony is music. Because we can get thousands of people to come together and watch a stage and watch a concert, but we might not necessarily be able to agree on something otherwise. So any, anybody know who the OJs are? Singers. Yeah, they are singers. Do you know where they're from? Here. They are. They're from here. They're from Canton, Ohio. Okay. And they're Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, and, and they're very famous and very loved worldwide. And does anybody know us another song by the OJs? What? The OJ Blues. The OJ Blues? <laughs> no, I don't think I've heard that one. Do you know, how about you, Gabriel? I think you might know one. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember? No. How about this one? Oh yeah. Yeah, I know that song. 
of the world, right? So we all have a dream. Has anybody ever seen this movie? No. Oh. That's the yes. Yes. No, it looks like it looks familiar. familiar. Yeah, yeah, it it's, it's the um. I have the never little seen engine that, that could. <laughs> if you've never seen it, you should. It's a great movie. I do remember it's, that song. Do you? Of course, yeah. you should. Um, so this is a great movie, and it's about realizing dreams. It's the train. The trains live in the dream world, and they're bringing the dreams into the real world. And, and unfortunately, what happens is the, the, the tunnel collapses, and they can't get the dreams 